Hello there, my name's Fran Sands and welcome to MyBoxingCoach.com. Um, I've got a really cool little game that you can play. Now, this game will help you develop your feel for range. It will help you develop your reactions and it will help you develop your footwork. All of this without being a spar. It is basically a simulated sparring session or a simulated contest with an individual. So very briefly, I'm very fortunate to have Tony working with me, one of my boxers. Um, again, uh, I don't know how the height difference is gonna work in this, um, but I think I'm gonna come off second best. I think we can probably fairly safely say that. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna get in our stance. And so if I'm in a, my stance with Tony, uh, the target area, there are two target areas. Um, one is my thigh and one is Tony's thigh. You can use shoulder. If you are gonna use shoulder, please, please be careful. Too often I see fingers going into people's eyes. That's a nasty thing to happen. Um, obviously always accidental, but I really like to just focus on the thighs because this is all about footwork, this, this uh, game. Um, and all that we do, we, if I tap Tony's thigh, I get a point, and if Tony taps my thigh, he gets a point. Um, the trick is to use lots of feints and to make sure that our footwork is such that when we move out we're able to move straight back in and do the strike okay so I'll try and show you a little bit now we'll move back a little bit to make sure we don't sort of go off the edge of shot um, and we'll, we'll, we'll see how this goes and then I'll explain the things you shouldn't do because I know some will cheat because everyone tries to cheat at this okay Tom See, it's a bit unfair me saying only, only leg target. Tony's going to snap his spine if he tries to reach down to touch my leg. So we will, we'll open up shoulder targets as well, too, okay? So it's all about feinting. Okay, we'll call it a draw in the best uh, tradition of Monty Python. Um, this is super effective. This goes on in boxing clubs all over the world. You might look at this and think it's a bit stupid. If you do, okay, well, that, that's unfortunate for you. It is super effective at making you a better boxer. Things you shouldn't do. When Tony goes to strike my leg, or my shoulder, so he goes to strike my leg. No blocks with the hands. It's brilliant to do, and it's nice to look at, but actually we want this to focus on your feet. This is about getting your footwork better. Um, when I want to strike Tony's thigh, what I don't do is go down to it like that. I bend my knees and go out at shoulder level there as best I can. In a boxing match, if I go down like that, he's going to turn me into a, a victim very, very quickly. Um, what I also don't do, when Tony goes to strike my leg, I don't do that, because loads of people do. Every time you go to strike, they go, oh, yeah, missed. What happens in a boxing ring if I do that and I go, get punched when I'm in this position. I get knocked on my backside. So maintain your stance, use lots of feints, put pressure on, um, and enjoy it. Do that with someone. You don't have to be a super boxer to do that. Do that every day for a few rounds every day, and I promise you, you will get better. Um, sign up to the Beginner Boxer Toolkit. Here, it's a free book, sort of 67 pages or something like that with Loads of information about how to learn core skills and use bags and shadow and psycholo psychology. Lots of really positive and helpful stuff in there. You'll also get a load of footwork drills, etc., that will really help and benefit you um, in your journey into boxing. Thank you, Tony. My name is Fran Sands, and this is myboxingcoach.com. Thank you.